So today what we're going to do is a rebuild, a shorter one, because I still wanted to do a team that has been making some moves, but doesn't necessarily need like a, a three-year rebuild. I was looking for a team that I could just try to win immediately, and that's why today we're going to do a five-minute rebuild on the Texas Rangers. Recently just treated treated traded one of their like franchise players in elvis andrews to the oakland athletics and i felt like let's let's see what this rangers team could do they just picked up fulton Avich. they brought in koei arihara arihara you've got crush davis now uh david Dahl was another pickup dane dunning from the white Sox. like they've been making some moves and i want to see what we could do with this team and turn them around immediately so we're going to do a five-minute rebuild with the Rangers. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you do, hit that thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you did enjoy the content, there's like 60% of you who watch the videos that aren't subscribed. What are you guys doing? Hit that subscribe button. And of course, in the comment section today, because it is Super Bowl Sunday, let me know who you think is going to win. All right, so how these work is I got five minutes to make all the trades and free agent signings that I need to try to win a World Series in one season. That's it. One season. And I can make moves to the lineup and call players up and send players down after the five minutes. That's been kind of how we've been doing it. That's what a lot of you guys said I should be able to do once the five minute like timer expires. But the five minutes, all the trades, all the roster moves that I have. So looking at the roster here, I like a lot of the players. Chris, or not Chris, David Dahl, Joey Gallo, Nate Lowe. Mm, that's really about it. Isaiah kind of for Leffa actually isn't too bad in franchise. You've got Crush Davis, Rugnet Odor, eh, you know, not too excited about him. The top three in the rotation, I think we can work with. The bottom two, probably not. And I really want to change up this bullpen a lot, like a lot, a lot. So I'm trying to think what we could do here. I definitely want to catch her a second baseman, maybe an extra outfield bat and a shortstop. So that's four position players. And then I basically want to change up like 90% of this bullpen. So that's a lot of trades we're going to have to make. So the first one I want to just get out of the way is shortstop. Because I always struggle with trying to get really, really good shortstops. So ooh, who could I get that's going to help us out? Bo Bichette? Maybe Tim Anderson? I'm actually kind of interested in Bo Bichette. Let's get Bo Bichette. I feel like this is going to be a, a fairly easy one to make happen i do want to try to get rid of one of these like bigger contracts that i have which may not be possible so what about sam huff sam huff gets the deal done immediately can i trade you kyle gibson and get somebody from your squad who could i get that would help us out don't think anybody <laughs> i'm looking at this i don't think anybody kirby yates can't get Kirby Yates. Okay, so I'm just going to take this away. Maybe anybody here? Okay, so I'm going to take Sam Huff away because that's too much to make the deal happen. So let's give them Odor and let's throw maybe Nick Solak. Okay, that's actually a good trade. I'm going to take that. Let me get my five-minute timer ready. And we're going to start this in three, two, one boom there we go timer has started the deal is done we got our shortstop so now i definitely want to try to get a new center fielder and i'm trying to think of just a really good hitter because i'm thinking of moving joey gallo from right field to center field so maybe just get like a corner hitter what about castellanos oh okay Ooh, this actually this actually sounds really good you can have you can have a dubre ramos and maybe sam huff oh that's a lot uh what about Okay, we'll take away Ramos. We'll give you Guzman. Mm, huh. What about... Uh, who do you guys want? I gotta hurry up. I'm, I'm wasting too much time here. We definitely need to get moving. Okay, there we go. Delano de Shields and Juan, or Julio Pablo Martinez for Castellanos. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's get rid of some of these bigger contracts for the starters. And who could we get... That's really going to help out the team. You say Kikuchi? Probably not. What about Daniel Mangden? Daniel Mangden's been kind of nasty for us lately. Contract doesn't work. Mm, who is who is someone? Oh, who's that? Uh, Merrill Kelly. Merrill Kelly's always been really good for us. And you can have Edubre Ramos. I don't want him in the squad. And then also, I'm clearing out basically the farm system here to make these trades happen steel walker perfect okay there we go there's another trade i do want to get rid of jordan lyles as well 
do you have another pitcher we could get anybody who who's got the the cheap good pitchers mm, zach godley yes take him i don't want him you can have kyle cody straight up boom there we go let's take a look at the team really quick because i'm trying to think of where we're at and uh, i gotta make a couple more changes so nope uh, where'd he go? Merrill Kelly goes there. We're going to have Zach Godley there. Definitely need to strengthen this bullpen. The bullpen's looking pretty weak. Pretty weak. And then now looking at the lineup, we got Bo Bichette, extra outfielder. I want to get a catcher. And then I want to get a new second baseman. Okay. Second baseman. Who could we get that I think is really going to help out the team and is going to be pretty easy to get? Um... Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. Keston Hira. You want Sam Huff? Oh, almost just almost just Huff for Hira. What about Kyle Bird and Luis Ortiz? Okay. That was way easier than I anticipated. I'll give you Josh Morgan for catcher, 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 catcher. Mmm. Pedro Severino wasn't bad last time we 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 picked him up. I'll give you Derek Dietrich. We'll give you double D. And this is actually going a lot better than I thought it was going to. I don't want Juan Nicasio. I definitely need to get a better reliever. And just under two minutes. Hmm. I kind of want to move Leclerc to the setup role. How am I going to make this better for us? Can I do that? And give you somebody else. Who would you want to make this deal work? Justin Voskiu. What about Acuna's brother and Andrew Romine? Christopher Cisse, Cece, whatever it is. There, got Sean Doolittle. That was a pretty good pickup. And let's just try to find just bullpen arms. Let's just really strengthen this bullpen. Let's try to win a bunch of games. That's the whole point of this. And oh boy. I feel like I'm saying and too much. I'm sorry. I'm just, my brain's moving really fast, trying to think of players. Mouth doesn't know what to say. Ah, <sighs> almost said and again. Can I get Aaron Bummer? Almost, almost, boom. There we go. 57 seconds. What could we do to make this team even better? I feel like offensively, we're actually pretty good. Right field, DH, shortstop, second, catcher. All the positions that I wanted to upgrade. Pitching wise, okay, 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 okay. Maybe one more bullpen arm if we can somehow sneak that in. 30 seconds. What could we do? Or maybe trade Volquez, move Godly. Maybe try to get one more one more starter. Could we could we somehow sneak in one more starter? I have somebody in mind. It might be a little difficult. It might not even work. Where is he? Where Joey Lucchese. Okay, that's that's definitely not working. We don't even have that much time either. 10 seconds. Uh E Zach Davies not coming close. Uh Alec Mills not coming close. I got four seconds. Three, two, one. And there we go. I'm just gonna end the timer there. Unfortunately, not able to get it. But let's let's figure out this this bullpen situation. So bummer. I might even move like Leclerc up here. Go do a little here. Bummer setup. Gaviglio there? I don't like that. Oh, we didn't get anybody else. Oh, I feel like I really ruined it there. I screwed the pooch on that one. Ooh, I think our bullpen's gonna let us down. I think that's gonna be the the deciding factor on us not doing well. Oh, that's oof. I already know. I already know it's not gonna be great. Unless maybe we call up Brett Martin to go for Gaviglio I might make that change but otherwise I think uh I think the bullpen's gonna be our our downfall for sure Ooh, I think I mm, I, I, I could have done better there I definitely could have done a lot better that's that's annoying on my part because like I had I had a couple players in mind just I just didn't make the moves quick enough so oof that's tough but offensively I like the team I think we can call up a player or two and I think we yeah we have one more spot available so i'm just gonna call up willie calhoun and then i said i was gonna send down gaviglio where is he where is he where is he's a starter i don't want him here no triple a and then what i was gonna do was gonna call up 
somebody here. I guess Martin. Hopefully he's the right choice. Maybe. So I'm going to move this around a little bit. We're going to simulate the season. Something in maybe Bo Bichette. Maybe Castellanos there. Maybe Keston here. Maybe something like this. Maybe, maybe something like this. I'm going to make sure the lineup's set for the rest of the team. We're going to simulate the season. I'm interested to see where we're ranked. We are ranked 21st. That bullpen's really got to be hurting us. That is... Oh, man, I'm really disappointed in that one. Oof, that is oh, so bad. But we're ranked 21st. Offensively, I think we're going to do well. I think we have a lot of sneaky players. I might not even put Kiner Falefa there. I might put David Dahl and then maybe something like that. I think that's going to be the lineup. So this is the lineup. Versus lefties, it's probably going to stay the exact same. Because like looking at the other players that we have on the bench, they're not going to kick any of these guys out. And then the pitching staff's going to stay the same. So... Let's see how this year goes. I'm not feeling optimistic, but who knows? I've, I've done better with worse teams. So I figured I'd do a little check-in really quickly, just, just at the, like the trade deadline, just to kind of get an idea of how these are, how the moves are panning out. And really quickly, pitching, it's not terrible. It's not bad though. Like I'm actually pretty happy with it. Volquez is not doing terribly. Vincent is, ooh, okay. Not good. Hate seeing that. That's pretty good. I like seeing that. I don't like seeing that. And someone brought up that I should get Aaron Bummer more. And that is the reason. Bummer has actually been letting me down way too much lately. Uh, did I have David Dahl at the top of the lineup here? I think I did. Obviously, that's not working. Bo Bichette, he's doing okay. Castellanos is doing well. Joey Gallo, you know, Joey Gallo things. Um, I might set the record for most strikeouts by a team ever just with Gallo, Hira, and Chris Davis on the squad. Kind of Falefa's not doing well. Nate Lowe, though. Nate Lowe, though. Okay. So, yeah, that's the team. Just a quick little check-in just to kind of see what we were doing. We are eight games out in the West. We're in a wild card spot, though. That's good. But not by much. By not by much, though. So, ugh. let's see how it finishes. So, we made it as a wild card team. I mean, we probably just squeaked in 90 and 72, so I'm not upset with it. We were one game behind the Angels, who were the other wildcard team, so we were pretty close. And then the Astros, we were eight games out there, so we won it by two games. We were two games ahead of the Red Sox. Okay. And actually, looking at the rest of the league, not many teams like were amazing, like out, like way up there, like the 100 wins. There were a couple, but like nothing too crazy. So we had no league leaders. The award winners were Luke Voigt, Corey Seager. We had Sale and Nola winning Cy Young. Okay. Rowanis Elias. Rowanis Elias. That's his name. Reliever of the year. I'm just... Excuse me? Excuse me. Huh? What? I'm so, so confused there. So it looks like our pitching may have taken a step back. Volquez was doing really well at the deadline. What? Nick Vincent, though, holy cow. Might have to start picking him up for more rebuilds. Joely Rodriguez didn't do great. Leclerc got better. Brent Martin was really good. I like the whip. Whip is super, super good. Bummer. And then Doolittle was great. So, like, half our bullpen was good, which you don't like saying that. Like, <laughs> uh, Kohei Arihara, not a strong second half. Dane Dunning, though, was really good. Same with Merrill Kelly. Mike Fultonavich, Zach Godley, not so much. And then back to the top of the line. So, like, three-fifths of our pitching rotation was really good. Holy cow. Um, oh, man. I don't know what that was. Woo! Uh, but our bench is really bad. And then looking at our starting lineup, my mouth just, like, was getting drier and drier and drier. And it was almost like, it was just, like, Oh, it was terrible. I just, <laughs> it was a terrible feeling. But we have David Dahl, who was terrible. <laughs> Speaking of terrible, in the leadoff spot. Bo Bichette was pretty solid. 24 home runs. I'll take it. You got Castellanos, really good three-hole hitter. Joey Gallo doing Joey Gallo things. Striking out a lot, but at least doing the job with 22 home runs. Keston, again, striking out a lot. Chris Davis, strikes out a fair bit. But 27 home runs, I'll take it. Uh, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. 
not great. Pedro Severino was decent. I'll take it for a catcher. And then Nate Lowe is actually one of those sneaky pickups you got to get in franchise. And he proved it there. So overall, pretty unhappy with the way the offense did. But we'll see how we do against the, the Angels here in a quick manage situation. Hopefully it goes well. It probably won't, but hopefully. Um, yeah, let's bases loaded, no outs to start the game. We bring in one and that's it. Looking at the Angels lineup, untouched. They didn't make any changes throughout the seasons. No trades or anything. Okay. Justin Upton. No, don't do that to me. Two to one. I bet you that's how the game finishes. Two to one. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be the most disappointing thing ever. And thank you, Joey Gallo. I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong because whoo, I was getting ready to just be let down for the whole the whole game. Let's bring in Joely Rodriguez. He gets us out of that inning. A triple. Okay. Anything here? Um let's go. Yeah, it's Shohei, but we are gonna go to LeClerc. He gets us out of that inning, which is awesome. Love seeing that. We get no runs there. Unfortunate. We're still only up one, so I don't like that at all. We're going to go to Doolittle. Luckily, we have two lefties coming up. Please get us out. Oh, we won. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. So we win that. We're going to face the Yankees. We take a win there. A loss there. I'm going to let Fulton Avich pitch. And then the next game, we're not going to let Godly pitch. But we're going to let Arihara. And we're going to lose there. Win. Can't have Godly face him. So instead, we're going to go Dane Dunning, who did get rocked game one a little bit. But... I have faith. 2-2 two, two series. Boom. I told you. I had the faith. And instead of Dunning, who was after Dunning? Is that Godly? No, 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 no. Let's move. Let's move everybody up a spot or two. We should be good here. So game one. Kelly versus Giolito. Two pitchers who absolutely got shelled in their first outing. We lose. And the second. And the third. And we got swept. We got hammered. Jesus. Yikes. But you know what? We made the ALCS with a team who was ranked 19th in the league. And quite frankly, probably shouldn't have made the postseason. That was not a postseason team. But you know what? We turned it around in five minutes. We made some crazy big trades. And I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with what we were able to do. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like I said, there's like 60% of you lately who have been watching the videos who aren't subscribed. So consider hitting that subscribe button. And in the comment section, let me know who you think is going to win the Wor World Series. No, 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 no. Super Bowl. That's it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.